Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing my weeks 22, 23, and 24 pregnancy update, but I also wanna talk about what I thought was my follow-up anatomy scan um, that was today. So today I'm 24 weeks and two days pregnant. So really I shouldn't be talking about the anatomy follow-up anatomy scan until my next update, which would be week 25. But um, we got some, I don't, to me it's troubling news. But first off, let's talk about um, weeks 22, 23, and 24. When so week 24, baby was the size of an eggplant and my weight was 158 pounds. So that has me gaining 3.6 pounds since the beginning of the pregnancy. I'm sleeping okay. Um, I find myself tossing and turning a lot and I keep waking up on my back and so I have to force myself to roll over to one of my sides. I did buy a pregnancy pillow a while back that I had told you guys about, and that's been helping a little bit as long as I, once I roll over to my side, I smush it up against my back. That seems to help a little bit, but um, I'm just a back sleeper, so I keep ending up on my back, and then I freak out, and I have to roll over to my side. But um, other than that, I'm sleeping okay. In week 23, Mark had to go to Dallas for work. So he was gone a majority of the week. He left Monday and he was back uh, Thursday night, late Thursday night. So, um, and I know this is stupid, but like I'm just a scaredy cat. And so being at home alone, I mean, and I had the baby, I had Gianna here with me, but um, being here alone at night kind of freaked me out. So I slept a little bit uneasy when he was gone. But once he got back, I was back to normal. and sleeping pretty good. So best moments of these weeks, um, in week 22, I had my four week OB appointment on the 20th of September and it was just a nice day. I took the day off of work like I've been telling you guys and it was just relaxing. In week 23 on the 28th of September, she got the hiccups for the first time. And um, I'm just like, it, it just makes it feel so much more real for me. Like, and I feel her moving all the time, but um, I don't know, the hiccups is just like such a, like a human thing. And it just made her feel so much more real. And really for me um, in pregnancy, like by far the best part of pregnancy is feeling them move. And it's just, I'm just like in complete awe of it. And so feeling her get the hiccups for the first time is just really exciting. Symptoms in these weeks, um, heartburn, headaches, and in week 24, I, the leg cramps started. And like in my calves, I get them when I'm sleeping. It's usually towards the morning, like when I'm like early, early morning, like around three or four. And it happened in my last pregnancy too. And it just started now in week 24. And um, yeah, it was in my right calf. No, my left calf. Like, and you could feel it coming on and you try to relax so that it doesn't happen. And like, it's just, that's just such an awful pain. And then it went away, but like my leg was sore for like two days afterwards because of that stupid cramp. So I am not looking forward to that symptom at all. Food cravings. In week 23, I had a really strong craving for Panda Express. Um, and that's when Mark was out of town. So me and Gianna had Panda Express for dinner one night. Um, and then food aversions. I'm not really having any aversions, but I'm noticing that I'm getting to the point where I feel very full after eating like any amount of food. So um, no, no real aversions, just kind of like a loss of appetite. What I miss in these weeks, in week 23, I miss my husband. <laughs> Single momming it for that week was, and it wasn't even a full week, it was like four days, but um, just doing it by myself was really rough. Um, and then in week 24, I miss having energy, like especially in the evenings. My plate is just so full right now. Um, I'm working from home. Like I, I think I told you guys a few videos ago, I'm working from home and my daughter's home with me all day. So <laughs> working full time and taking care of her. She's 17 months old, so she's crazy. Being pregnant, being six months pregnant, and um, I just enrolled in school again too. So I'm taking online classes. Um, so I do have the flexibility to do my homework and study like at my convenience, but the only time I have to do that is after Gianna goes to bed. So she goes to bed about 7, 7.30. So I'm working all day, taking care of her all day, and then getting dinner ready. Mark has been very helpful though with that kind of stuff. So I have a couple of hours to spend with them, like undisturbed time, like where I can just focus with them. Um, 
in the e early evening and then we get Gianna to bed and then it's I'm back in the bedroom on the computer doing homework for two to three hours and then I come out and it's 10 o'clock 11 o'clock at night and it's time to go to bed so um it's rough like I just I have a lot on my plate right now and um trying to manage all that I just I just don't have energy so that's what I miss in these weeks what I'm looking forward to um is our follow-up anatomy scan which is on October 8th um, all three of these weeks, that's what I'm looking forward to. As far as movement, yes. Um, like I mentioned in week 23, I felt um, her get the hiccups for the first time. And then in week 24 is when I noticed um, being able to see her move from the outside. Like I can see my belly like jumping when she like kicks or hits or something. I can see my belly move. Um, so definitely yes to movement and no to stretch marks. So that's it for weeks 22, 23, and 24. Now let's talk about my follow-up anatomy scan, which was today, um, October 8th. So at my anatomy scan, my initial anatomy scan, um, the doctor said he wanted to see me every six weeks because when I delivered, I would be 35 years old, which is advanced maternal age. And um, that was fine with me because that just means that I get to see her more often. Um, I didn't really, and he didn't say that it was like a cause for concern or anything. He just wanted to continue to monitor the rest of my pregnancy, which I was fine with. Um, and then today when I got there for the anatomy scan, um, I was talking to the tech and she had said, she didn't mention anything about my age being the reason. She said that this was a growth scan and we're doing these every six weeks because with my first pregnancy, I developed gestational hypertension um, towards the end. And so they want to do the growth scans every six weeks because if the baby is measuring small or behind, that's an indication that I am or could be developing the gestational hypertension again. Um, all of my four week OB appointments have been, my blood pressure has been fine. I think two appointments ago, um, it was a little bit elevated, but not a cause for concern. So um, I wasn't too worried about it. Um, and then so today for today's appointment, um, everything went fine until the end. And um, so the tech was, you know, taking all the measurements and she didn't say anything looked odd. And, um, but I guess at that point she didn't really have anything to compare the numbers to. So when she was done with the scan, something had happened with her ultrasound machine and it wasn't transferring the measurements to the computer so that they could put that into the growth chart and to make sure um, everything was okay. So she had to go back and she was like writing down all the numbers and then went to the computer and like was manually putting them in. And then when she came across her, the baby's head measurement, um, she said, that she wanted to recheck, do, redo the ultrasound to check her head measurements because the head measurements were measuring small. Um, and so of course I, I already started to get worried there. Um, and then she redid the, her head measurements, checked her head again, and she said the measurements were better. She put those into the computer but she's still measuring small. So at today's appointment, I was 24 weeks and two days and I asked her um, what the gestational age, her the measurements were showing and she said 23 weeks. So we're measuring a week and two days behind. Um, and she said that she her weight was one pound four ounces, um, which isn't like crazy small. But what really worried me is she said that she wanted to call the doctor and talk to him and see um, what he advised. So she left and went to go call the doctor and she came back and had him on the phone and he wanted to talk to me. So he, what he said, he told me not to panic or not to worry, but she is measuring small, which is an indication that I could be developing gestational hypertension again. Um, he said that she's in the ninth percentile, which is really low. Like that's really low and that scares me because with my daughter, she was always in at least a minimum of the 80th percentile. It was usually on average high 80s to low 90s. Um, 
and she always measured like a week ahead almost always at least a week ahead um towards the end she was measuring two weeks ahead and my family has big babies um my nephews were both huge my husband when he was born was huge my brother-in-law was huge like all the babies in this family are just big there they always are the doctor said with the trajectory and um, the way she's growing now at 40 weeks she should weigh six pounds four ounces and he said that's very average and that is average so I mean Gianna was born at 37 weeks and she weighed six pounds 12 ounces so that's not that far off from there but he said instead of seeing me every six weeks he wants to see me every three weeks now because she's not growing the way they would like her to be so like to be completely honest it just freaks me out like it's really scary like that's scary um especially because with gianna i didn't develop the gestational hypertension until i was 35 weeks um and so thinking i'm only 24 weeks now we have a long time to go in this pregnancy and so it has me <laughs> looking back and just like doubting so much about me and like what i've been doing and like have i been doing enough to protect the health of this pregnancy and i feel guilty because i haven't when i first got pregnant i kept saying like i'm going to exercise and i'm going to eat so much better like i don't want the gestational hypertension so i'm going to do everything i can to make sure this is a very healthy pregnancy and it's like i'm already almost 25 weeks and it's like every week i'm like oh i still have so much more time like i'll be fine i'll be fine i can eat mcdonald's for dinner or i can do this or i don't have to get up early and exercise like all this stuff that i've just been wanting to do and like i skipped my prenatals you know like not often but like i definitely haven't been taking them every day like i should so it's hard to not blame myself i don't know and i i could totally just be overreacting and, and it might not be nothing and maybe we'll go in in three weeks and she'll be perfectly fine and exactly where she should be i don't know we'll see i've only gained like four pounds since the beginning of the pregnancy that's not that's not okay and like i said i'm so busy during the day that like i just forget to eat so i need to make sure i start eating i don't know and if you guys have any like advice like i am so open to it um on how to get a baby to gain weight when you're pregnant <laughs> i mean other than i i mean i don't want to just start eating i mean i just i guess i just need to eat better and I don't even know if exercising is a good idea. I mean, obviously that's good, that can't hurt, right? But I don't, I just don't know. Like I'm like at a loss right now. And this video is like all over the place, so I'm sorry. Um, I just got this news this morning, so. And I thought I should just share it. I don't know guys. Okay, so that's it for the pregnancy update and today's appointment is kind of up in the air. I don't really know what's going on. We we have the next um, ultrasound in three weeks, which is on October 30th. So um, I guess we'll know more then. But if you guys could say a prayer or just send some positive vibes our way, I'd really appreciate it. And like I said, I could totally be overreacting. I'm just really freaked out by it right now so that's it guys i'll stop rambling i know this video is going to be super long already and i'm sorry for that um but i just wanted to get this information to you and keep everything documented so we will see you guys for my next video bye I just noticed that i haven't given you guys any kind of bump shots and now i am like full-on bumping so um it's probably better to end this video on a high note and show you guys that so um let me show you okay so here's 24 weeks and two days bump I don't know if the horizontal stripes don't do a lot for me but okay that's it guys we'll see you for my next video bye